This video will learn how to override the company default locale language and time zone from the setup. Access the company information page. Here you can see that the default locale is English United States, which determines the format of numeric values, dates and time. The default language for all new users who will be added will be English. And the default time zone of the org is Pacific Standard Time, so all new users added will inherit these default settings. Now let's see how we can change it at a user level. Scroll to the top right and access the settings for the user. Go to Language and Time Zone. From here you can change the locale, language and time zone at a user level, which overrides the company default settings. Let me show you an example wherein one user is with the default company locale and time zone. And the other user is in the English, United Kingdom locale and GMT time zone to see the difference in the records. Now, let's look at a side-by-side -side comparison of this account. This user is in the Pacific time zone, and this user is in the GMT time zone also. This particular user uses the English US locale, and this particular user uses the English UK locale. So very quickly, you will see the difference in the address format. This is the UK format and this is the US format. Also the difference in the time zones, this is 14, 6, 2018, 10, 34. And this particular timestamp is 15, 6, 20, 18, 6, 34 which is in the GMT time zone. You can also see the difference in the date format. So this follows month, date and year, and the UK locale follows date, month and year. Similarly, let's look at an opportunity record. Here you can see the difference in the close date, the US locale follows month, date and year, and the UK locale follows date, month and year. And similarly, a difference in the created and last modified timestamps as per the local time zone of the user see how to override the company default language. First go to setup and access the language settings page. Here the administrator can define what end user languages and the platform only languages the users can see in their personal settings to override the company default language. As you know, there are three levels of language support that Salesforce provides one is fully supported languages, which essentially means that all UI features including help and setup are translated in the local language then you have the end user languages. The difference from fully supported languages is all UI features excluding help and setup are not translated in these languages. And then you have the platform only languages where there are no default translations provided, but you can use the translation workbench to translate custom field labels, help text, etc. Now, as you check these boxes, these become available in the available languages list, and then you can add them to the displayed languages. So they will become visible in the end user personal settings language section. Now let's see how to override the company default language and time zone for a user. So access the personal settings of a user and go to language and time zone. Here you can see that the language is English. If we were to change it to Dutch, which is a fully supported language and save it. You will see that everything including the standard object tabs, the setup menu, everything has been converted into Dutch language.